Hey everybody, Honda Pro Jason here, and I have something extremely special for you today. I have the very first look at the 2015 CRV Touring Edition. A brand new model for the CRV. As you can see when we come around the back, it says Touring right there, which is pretty awesome. The Touring Edition is going to come with this skid plate that's in the back and the front. It's also going to come with these new styled wheels, which I really like. They look super, super cool up, up close here. Also in the front, you're going to get LED running lights. I don't know if you can see them in the video, but they are pretty sick. They go all the way around the top and the bottom. They change the reflectors, the fog lights in the front to a square design. And then here you can see that skid plate almost looks like a chrome skid plate underneath. It looks pretty awesome. Then they redid the H badge. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. The H badge is actually covered under like a plastic. So that looks really, really neat. Take a little side angle view here, and then we're going to get to the inside. And again, this is the very first look. We are, as far as I know, the very first dealership in the country to even get a look at this vehicle. Before I show you guys the inside, let me show you what's under the hood. Honda's new Earthstream Technologies engine, direct injection, IVTECT. It is a CVT transmission, and there have been some rumors, but all of the CRVs will be CVTs. That was kind of tough to say. So there's a little look under the hood, and now that we did that, let's go to the inside. Okay, now for the inside of the vehicle. There are a lot of things that look similar, but there's a lot of things that have changed. So let's jump right into some of the things that have changed. We now have two seat positions. So you can set these settings for seat one and seat two for two different drivers. We also have some new buttons here. They changed the look of some buttons. This button here is going to be the vehicle stability control button. I'm going to get back to this one. This one is the power hatch button. Yep, I said power hatch. So now the Touring CRV does have a power hatch, rear hatch. This is going to be your lane departure warning. So now you can see your lane departure warning. It looks a little bit more like a lane departure warning instead of the letters that it used last time. Onto this button. This is the first for Honda. So this is extremely extremely cool this is going to be your button for your brake mitigation yep brake mitigation so what that means you guys is instead of before we just had a light to show you guys if you're getting too close to another car now we actually have the ability for the car to hit its brakes soft or hard depending on how close you are to the car in front of you which is just awesome push button start waited for that for a while in this car and then we have some new buttons on the steering wheel. There's one here that says main. There is a button here for your cruise control that is actually adaptive. So it'll slow you down or speed you up based on the car in front of you. This main button, that's gonna turn on what this is going to control. And this, my friends, is a lane assist system. So it's called lane keeping assist. What that does is just what it says. It helps keep you in your lane. So before it used to beep just for the lane departure warning. Now the steering wheel actually shake a little bit. And from what I understand, it'll keep you in your lane, which is just magnificent. It's unbelievable. We have a brand new touchscreen. It works very similarly to the Civic touchscreen that we're used to. The difference of it is going to be we have you know, with these things, these old school, they're called buttons. Yeah, buttons. Well, it's something that it's missing out of the other vehicle, out of the Civic for sure. And uh, now they have buttons to control your volume, your menu, everything's not just the touchscreen. Your CD is an eject now, which isn't the end of the world. I mean, how often do we really use CDs anyway? Other than that, the screen is gonna work very similarly to what we have. Some more differences here. They've changed the look of this whole center console. Let me move my phone out of the way. These cup holders are now 
removable and they're marked front and rear but you can remove them you could spin them there's a whole you can spin them I know you can spin these there's a whole different bunch of different ways you can set these things in there which is kind of cool and then in the center armrest which by the way now moves in the center armrest we have HDMI one USB two USB and a power source and then there's a cool little I'm gonna take this out so you can see it there's a cool little holder on the bottom and my guess is that's for a USB drive. You can kind of plug a USB drive in there so it doesn't like, you know, go all over the place while you're driving. So that kind of is a brief, I just want to kind of give you guys a brief overview because it's just awesome. Let me open up the sunroof here. Um, it's just, it's amazing. It's, it's by far the nicest CRV I have ever seen. And there's one more thing I'm gonna to attempt to show you here in the back check that out yep you got it rear vents for the rear seats uh, never had that before let me open up the rear tailgate to give you guys a little preview so you can see what's up yep power rear tailgate yeah I know we've waited for that forever so let me swing you around real quick hey guys what's up it's me I um, hope you guys all enjoyed this little preview of the CRV I'm definitely gonna have a tips and tricks. I'm gonna do a full review as soon as we actually get one that I can have for more than, I don't know, about 10 minutes of time. So you guys take care. As always, I'm the Honda Pro, and now you're in the know.